So whether the device becomes standard of care or not is uh, an evolving question at this point in time. It is clearly approved by the FDA as a standard of care for patients with newly diagnosed glioblastoma. Uh, whether it becomes widely used and widely adapted in the clinic remains to be seen because obviously this is still quite new. The primary publication has not been seen or reviewed by uh, the medical uh, community at large. And the availability of the device is just becoming broadly uh, accessible to the community. It's likely that in time, this will be accepted more broadly and will become more readily available to patients. But there is going to be a window of time before that actually happens.